Good morning, y'all. We are back from Daytona. From this day forth, my chopper shall forever be known as the Cycle Source Award winning brown sugar. I also now have a rider that goes with me everywhere I go that says only green M&Ms, only sugar free Red Bull, and only top shelf vodka. No one's taken me up on any of that stuff yet. But anyway, so I received something before Daytona. So if you don't know this about the channel, we are a non-sponsored channel, meaning that I don't take money from anybody, right? We do this for fun, we do this for you, we build sort of community, have a good time, and I accept products from time to time that I think are really cool that I actually would buy, you know? But they send it to me, I test it, and then we do a video about it, end of story. So somebody sent me something really cool before Daytona. We tested it the whole time we were there, but I wasn't gonna say anything about it if we didn't love it. We freaking love it. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. If you're returning, love you, thanks for coming back. Um, one of the things we've talked about in videos over the years is that we used to be a tent camping family. Used to moto camp, go out and stay in a tent, that kind of stuff, and bought an RV right before the pandemic. The best time on earth to buy an RV was before the pandemic, anyway. And we take that to rallies, we have a good old time, this, that, and the other. You have two major problems, RVing and tent camping, and that's power management and stuff in the tanks you gotta deal with. There are other channels for that, but you can have a bad day, is what I'm saying, if you're trying to deal with that. But anyway, so the power management thing is a thing. Now, I'm really fortunate that my rig has a built-in generator, something that's hard to come by today in 23 because they're a scarcity, but it's an issue. Like, uh, I can pull over and run the generator and all that stuff and have power for a bit, have lunch in my rig on a long road trip, that kind of stuff. Not everyone can do that. Not everyone has a built-in power station. That and if you're just like truck camping, maybe you have a tent in the back of your truck, the one that's, you know, the ones that, that, you know, go on the bed and all that stuff. Or maybe you have a chopper, like my, my, my friends, I almost said my boyfriends. <laughs> it's 2023, whatever. Um, my friends that are in Daytona on their choppers, uh, there's always a chase truck. It's not because they're not real bikers. It's because things break on bikes like that. Ask me how I know, but... About three or four of them went up there. They even brought a spare chopper because someone's was going to break. And it did, so we ended up using the spare chopper. But they had a pickup truck um, and that they had with tools and this, that, and the other. And then they unloaded and, and then they rode the heck out of their bikes the whole time there. But they were tent camping at the Cabbage Patch across the street. And power, they had no power, right? And everyone's got to charge their phones these days. 2023, you got to charge your phone. A lot of us have CPAP machines that you got to run. You've heard me talk about that. Uh, you need juice no matter where you are. And I got an email a couple weeks ago from a company saying, uh, this is next level. We've done power stations before, little power boxes and stuff, and they're pretty useful. But there's always been one thing they lacked, and this one doesn't lack it. This is like really more of like a generator replacement. Only in my neighborhood does a guy go for a nice leisurely drive in a dump truck. I, I don't know what he's doing. He's been, he literally just went in a circle twice, back and forth. Uh, get out of here, man. Go, what are you doing? You ain't working here. Go someplace else. I think I figured it out. Another neighbor's getting a pool put in. We all have to listen to dump trucks and bulldozers for the next couple months. It's first world problems. Anyway, now let's get to this. So <laughs> I'm easily irritated by noise if you're new to the channel. Um, so this is a reputable brand we've all heard of. So like the, the charger for your iPad or I, iPhone, the cables you buy them on all on Amazon stuff. Anchor is the name of the company. We've all heard of it. A-N-K-E-R. Uh, they have this new mega charger. Now this is different. It's not something you're gonna set on the back seat of your bike and bungee cord on. This is like a generator replacement. It is heavy, right? It's got wheels. I'll, I'll, let me just show you the box at least. Then we'll take it out. We're gonna take the actual power station to my rig in the storage lot and we'll mess around with it and kind of show how it works. But there we be. So this is the brand I'm talking about. You've probably heard of them because this is well known. So charging blocks, cables, little battery packs, all that stuff. They've been around forever. So five year warranty. This is called the seven series seven. Uh, and it's, it's the 767 portable power station. As you can see, that is not a battery box. That is sort of generator replacement. <laughs> and the big party piece here, what made it really, really different for me is that guy right there. If you're not an RVer, 
you may not know but if you are you know that is a 30 amp outlet that you can plug an RV into and this thing will power your RV exceptionally cool so you got four regular AC outlets an on and off button to turn all these on and off you've got you know your sort of car lighter jacks you've got USB C's and regular USBs uh, it does have a Bluetooth app that's that's gonna be fun uh, button to turn the display on and off and then there's a power saving mode it does it automatically after a while anyway but you can actually say you know conserve power for a bit or you know crank her up and then a nice big light and that's the handle I mean it pulls like a cooler kind of thing because you're not gonna carry this it's got handles but you can you know I mean but you're not gonna just lug this thing around because it is you know heavy so let me flip the box around then we'll take take another look so you've got 2400 watts in that 30 amp coming out of there so you can power I, I mean I'm not I don't think it's gonna run your AC at least not my AC I have a 15,000 BTU we'll find out but I have a 15,000 BTU built into my rig it's not gonna start that I don't think but it will run everything else in my rig microwave all the outlets it'll charge the battery through the inverter you know all that fabulous stuff but I don't think it'll power the AC we'll find out uh, and then USB C's USB A's car outlet da, da, da. Uh, and then if you plug it in, it has this new technology that GAN, what it, I am not technical, so batteries. Um, if you plug it in off the house, at home it'll charge in two hours. It has a solar panel option, which is really cool. I don't have that, I really want that, but it'll charge it in two and a half hours off solar panels. And then you can plug it into the car, and then yes, it's you know there's not much juice coming out of your car, but you know, when I go to Sturgis, this sucker can sit in the back seat. I can plug it into the outlet in the back of the large marge there. And over the duration of the whole trip, it would charge it from nothing to fully charge. So that's a thing. But reality is I'll plug it in at home and have her charge. Um, it's, I mean, all the readouts, we'll look at the actual unit in a minute here. But when you plug things into it, it'll actually say the number of hours remaining. So you plug in a bunch of stuff here. Let's say you're at a campsite, you're not using an RV, you're at a tent, whatever. You plug in a bunch of stuff, it'll say how many hours you have left at your current consumption. And when you plug it in, it'll say how long till it's totally fully charged. Shows you the actual wattage output, all that sort of stuff. It, it, it's, it's pretty badass. So let's go ahead and go to the campsite, pull the unit out, plug it into the rig, and we'll just sort of play with it a little bit and we'll see some of the features and stuff. I, it, don't get me wrong. This is not a small investment. This is pretty serious. This is sort of like if you were thinking about a generator and we're like, nah, I don't wanna mess with gas and all that stuff. This will get you from point A to point B, powering your rig along the way. And then if you don't have power and you get there, it'll run your minor power in your rig. So here we are the next day. We're at the storage lot where my RV lives. And there's my truck and there's my Heartland Fuel 305 that I've owned for three years now. It has been to Sturgis three times, four times. Daytona a few times. It's got a good amount of miles on it. We get a lot of use out of it. And we love it to death. It has a built-in generator, but a lot of my friends who have RVs do not. And when you're like dry camping along the way or just trying to get where you're going, that can be a real problem if you're, you know, camping at a Walmart or a Cracker Barrel or a, if you're pulling off for a little bit to get some rest at a rest area or something like that. Power is an issue if you have a CPAP machine or, or just want to watch TV for a minute, right? Again, I'm fairly certain it's not going to run my 15,000 BTU air conditioner, but I think that's sort of asking a lot. Unless, I don't know if I already said this, you can put a soft start on the compressor on these, and that'll probably do it. I don't have one, so it ain't going to work for mine, but I could add that and, and use it. Anyway, so here, let's go through the box itself. I'm taking it out of the, uh, the power station. I'm taking it out of the box, and there you go. They're pretty slick. This is a really neat rig. So again, you got three USB-Cs, you got two regular USBs, you got four AC outlets and a 30 amp, and then you got two of those, you know, old fashioned car sockets it says, but you know, like lighter kind of things. Um, the display here shows you how much juice is in the battery. I messed with this a bit of Daytona. I won't do a video on anything that I haven't, you know, sort of proven that it works, that I like it and all that stuff. So it's got 12% gone out of it. I charge it completely at home. There's the light I told you about. You know, so it's your campsite if you're not using an RV and you're just tenting or whatever. You know, that would light up a lot of, a lot of area for you. And then it charges <clears throat> on the other side. Let me flip this around real quick. I'll be right back. So on the other side here, you've got the input if you have solar, which I would love to have. 
but uh and it comes with the adapter like a y adapter you can plug in two panels and the plugs in here that's a reset like a almost like a breaker and then there's the plug that it goes into the wall you know and charges at home so i mean really really cool this is actually where you can plug in another battery so you can buy a not whole system just another battery it sits on top of it and double the output and plug it in there you know i mean like you can go all in off the grid you know camping with this thing for quite a while um what will it run let me think about this in my rig it makes all of my 110 outlets work it makes my television work it makes the inverter work so it charges the 12 volt onboard battery on this guy and i'm sure all rvs work the same uh it runs the refrigerator off of 110 so you don't have to use propane what else it, it of course powers the stereo and all that stuff because it's transferring to the 12 volt system but basically other than running my main ac it's like being plugged in in a campsite to a pole right so what i'm gonna do now is i'm gonna grab my power cable out of the rig i'm gonna take the power station over the other side We'll plug her in and i mean <laughs> it's not exactly scientific you plug it into that and all of a sudden things work well here we'll uh, we'll see i forgot before i take it over there real quick so it's got the wheels and it's got handles and it is heavy it's probably 50 ish pounds i don't know but they thought of this it's like a cooler or uh, you know anything else it doesn't weigh nothing to pull it behind on the handle so that's really cool neat little feature all right, so just going through my rig and make sure the AC was off, the fridge was off, that kind of stuff. Uh, and thought of something as I was doing that. We are leaving for another motorcycle rally called the Leesburg Rally in six weeks, five weeks, something like that. And it's a dry camping rally. We're in a field, a place called Windy Acres. No power, no water, no nothing. So I'll fill the water tank, you know, all that stuff. But the generator, I just run it for like four days. And I have to bring 15 gallons, I don't know. It's about three quarters of a gallon an hour. So I have to carry a lot of fuel, you know, for that rally I always have. But this is gonna help because at night I can shut the generator off because we're not running the AC. And, you know, TV, laptops, charging phones, all that stuff from the outlets inside. This is gonna do that no problem. We could just bring it inside and do that, but ah, you know, power the whole rig. So you got TV and all that stuff. But here we go, let me do that. Turn this on. All right, so right now the state of the rig is uh, nothing, I have the TV on, but nothing's on in there. No, the fridge is always running on propane right now. Um, my couple cameras and stuff are plugged in and charging, but you know, the air conditioning's not running. And again, the fridge is on propane, not electric. The fridge draws a lot of electricity, if you don't know that. So, uh, and then the microwave's not on, but I tested it, the microwave works. So, so far it'll do everything but the AC and I'm sure it won't do the AC. So I'm not even gonna turn it on because that could be a little undue stress on both the power unit and my AC and my rig. So I didn't even try that, but everything else works. Ice maker I turned on, microwave, you know, everything works. So let's see what it says. Cause it's got a little screen to tell you for how long that sort of stuff will work. And it says 1.1 days. Now let me see that right there. Remaining 1.1 days, it's putting out 30 watts. So there you go. Your perfect sort of non-generator, you know, solution. Are they expensive? Yeah. I mean, these these cost a lot of money. There's a lot of technology in there, but it's cheaper than generator. <laughs> so I'll put the link down below and all that stuff. I, there's no commissions on sales and all that sort of stuff. I'm not being paid to do this. They just provide me with a power station, which I really wanted because we're gonna get a lot of use out of this. So final points, if you're going somewhere with a vehicle, if you're a biker like I am going to biker rallies, if you are, you have a chase truck, maybe you trailer, maybe whatever, maybe you have an old chopper, so you always have a chase truck because things always break. There you go. No noise, no fumes, no one's gonna die of carbon monoxide poisoning at night. And you got pretty much a generator sitting next to you for a couple grand. So there's uh, some specials going on right now. This video will be online for a long time, but right now as I'm recording this, they've got like 300 bucks off, but I don't know when you're watching it. So watch the link down below. Um, tell them the monkey sent you. Love you all to death. Take care of each other. Bye.